All right, what's up everybody on YouTube? This is Boy RC coming to you with another video. And this time I'm gonna be some new slash vintage pickups. Um, a lot of the vintage pickups are gonna be from my uh, IYL uh, Hypebeast video. Uh, not, I mean, not everyone watched it through the full thing, so I said I included it in this video. And um, I got a brand new plunder box that just, I just came in. And if you guys don't know what plunder is, uh, as I mentioned on another video before, uh, it's pretty much like a site for name brands. You get them super, super discounted off, like this shirt right here. I got there for like $13, fresh job t-shirt, and um, yeah, so if you guys want to invite an um, invite to us, the members only site, um, you can either send me a message with your email, or you can just use the link that I'm going to post down below, and you know, you can get to the site and sign up for yourself, and you know, get, on some, get in on some of the deals. Now, we're going to start off by doing the plunder box, and I just got it, so I, I got to open up on camera. So, here you go, you can see on the side, plunder. Com. All right, let's get into it. All right, so I got a lot of things. They're actually having a plunder sale. I was like, spend a hundred and get forty percent off. So that's for New Year's. So I guess I start off with these Goodwood pieces. I got. Uh, I got a Goodwood chain, and I got a Goodwood bracelet, and maple. Uh, so I can just pop this. Oh, yeah, I can pop this over. Nice. It's a lot of protection on this, like a whole bunch of bubble wrap. And uh, yeah. So, okay. Those are the pieces individually in their own separate uh, bag. This one is a 30 inch on 30 inch chain. This is the uh, brass knuckles piece on a natural bead chain. This is 30 inches. Uh, here you go, right here. Um, brass knuckles pretty small, but on them there's actually good wood insignia. If you can see that right there, there's actually good wood insignia. So, well, while I'm doing this, I'm gonna put that on. All right, all right. And then I got another good uh, bracelet. This is the maple color wood, and it has a wing, as you can see. This for me about what 13 bucks. Uh, I guess I'll throw that one on too. Whatever. Um, now let's get into t shirts and a hoodie. Now I got these two good with pieces. Um, phone's ringing, but I'm not gonna worry about that. Um, got two good with pieces, uh, which is this bracelet. I got two shirts a uh, kid robot t shirt and a fresh, another fresh job t shirt. So I guess we'll start off with the fresh job t shirt. Since that's what I'm wearing actually right now. And this one's called the Shutters t shirt. And it's just a, a nice basic t shirt. It's like a girl in a triangle, and it's kind of like, you know, when, the, when it's kind of like spacey and all, and you know, it looks like shutters because when the uh, light comes through the windows, you know, like you can see the black lines on our face. But a nice, simple t shirt. Um, just very clean. That's why I like Fresh Driver. Simple designs, but very, very clean t-shirts. So yeah, and this is a size uh, large. And if you didn't know Fresh Driver, that's the, the label, just the black square. The size large Fresh Driver t-shirt. That was about 13 bucks. Now I'm getting to this Kid Robot t-shirt. I had to get some on XL because they didn't have um, a large, which is what I was going to get. But I'll try to shrink it. It'll be cool. Um, I got this for 20 bucks. It's like a $40 t-shirt, but I got it for 20. Kid Robot t-shirt, as you can see. The design's on it right there. Very cool. It's kind of like, kind of like a tribal, uh, have you ever seen a totem pole? It kind of looks like what that is. That kind of looks like what it is. And, uh, you can see tags, you know, everything's official. You know, the Kid Robot tags. Even has the original on it, 40 bucks, right there. Extra large 40 I got for half the price. Put that over there. And right here, I got this also in a size XL. I didn't know how they were, how Undercrown is, but this is the Undercrown hoodie. It was the Asher Off flap hoodie, and it's uh, all black, and it just says college with the crown in it, hence Undercrown. But I really did like this hoodie. Um, so I got it for uh, $27. And as you can see in the inside, it says Undercrown Extra Large. I'm gonna shrink this a little bit. 
But yeah, college was underground. All that came in, all that was five dollar shit, guys. I'm telling you, Plunder is the place to shop right now. If, as long as you can get, as long as you can shop online, get a credit card, or somebody you can get money to for the cards. Plunder.com, that's just the place to shop. I got all that for fifty five because I got I had ten dollar credit also. So all that stuff was only fifty five dollars, including my jewelry piece. This was this was thirty alone, but I got the discount. So. Now we're gonna get into the vintage pickups. Um, some of these we were seeing in my pre previous videos, as I said, but um, this is my Clemson Tigers hat. This is a game hat right here. You can see all white. I restored this one already. I like this one because the game, it looks like it was like a patch that was stitched on. It actually protrudes off of the material. Very nice. Uh, you can see the game, licensing, all legit stuff. Cops at thrift store, $2. Actually, it was three bucks. This one was three bucks, but still a very, very, very nice hat. Next one was this W H R H S field hockey hat. I decided to use this as parts because I tried to restore it, and um, this is also a game hat. I tried to restore it, and since this lettering is so stitched in, it kind of made it a really wrinkly on the front since it's so old. So I'll see if I can fix it. If not, I'm just gonna use this as parts. But yeah. Um, Official game hat, all the licensing, all the tags you guys need to see if you want to see it, it's there. All right. Next hat is my Back to the Future the Ride hat. I thought this was really, really cool. It's the beige ivory color. I love that color on these vintage hats. And I already restored this one. Um, so I wore this the other day. Really killing cool hat. I got a lot of compliments on it. And, uh, probably one of the best hats I've found. Anything Back to the Future, I think it's really cool. And uh, this hat, as I said before, it's like a, my dad said it was a painter's cap, but it was like a dollar, so I just got it. I thought it was really cool. Um, Cincinnati Reds, there's Reds on the front, Cincinnati on both sides. No snap, nothing, just Velcro. Um, yeah, as you say, it was a, paint, a painter's cap. And um, I don't know, this, for me, this kind of looks like something that the solos would wear, the guys would sell the peanuts and all the little uh, snacks and stuff. This looks kind of like something that they would wear. But uh, yeah, got that. Now this is a new thing I never showed this yet. Uh, this is a starter jacket I got from the thrift for about ten bucks. Um, it's a Detroit Pistons jacket. It's a size large. You see it has the starter right there in the zipper. You want to see it tagged? There you go. Oh, I have it on the thing. You can't see it. Sorry. But it is a size large starter. I think this is one of the new, uh, newer ones. I mean, it was still in the nineties. I think those were newer nineties. Um, Starter on the hood, as you can see right there. Sorry. Starter. Um, it's all outlined in like, well, the hood down the zipper, uh, leading into this big front pocket. It's all outlined in black and white, as you can see. Um, the back, I really like the back, has a really big Detroit Pistons logo. Um, oh, a really nice jacket. And also on the sides, there's like this fabric -y material, uh, black and white, and like this tealish color. Also, you got like a uh, cinch right here, you know, to adjust the actual jacket to fit you better. And actually, on these cinches, it actually says starter, which is really cool. But I'm sorry, my, my webcam is not the best, but if you can kind of see where it's uh, embossed at, it's there. It says starter. And um, it also has, I was saying before, this really big front pocket um, right here. Go in, and it has a zipper pocket in the front right here. Um, so yeah, all in all, very, very nice jacket. And also, it features a zipper on one of these sides. There's actually a zipper. Oh, right here. This side has a zipper instead of the cinch to adjust it. And the zipper says starter also, right here. Um, so that's probably the best find I found so far at the thrift, really. Uh, nice starter jacket, about 10 bucks. So it's over here. Next thing I found was this uh, Cowboys crew neck. Uh, very vintage looking. It was kind of, it's like faded, uh, a little bit cracked right here on the 1960. You can see that, a little bit cracked. But it's pretty cool. Uh, it was actually made in 1994. If you can see that right there, 1994. Um, really, 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 really dope. Uh, what really made me want to buy this is because all the, the silver, the grayish color is actually like a silver material and that's not even cracked at all. So really, really nice crew neck right here. We'll be doing it soon. And my team is actually the Cowboys, even though they got smacked, but you know, whatever. Um, and also for my last pickup, 
of the benches ones. Um, this is a champion Grizzlies turtleneck as I uh, showed in my video before. Grizzlies, well, champion logo right here. Grizzlies logo is on this side. Um, really clean, nice heather gray. And champion right here. I mean, I don't know if you guys want to see tags or anything, but it's a large champion uh, curl turtleneck. So guys, that's pretty much it for all my pickups. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and also, I, mean, I think I'm at about 450 something subscribers. So I think once I hit 500, I might be doing a giveaway. Um, but my one thing I, I my feeling about giveaways are, it's just like a person who subscribes for a giveaway, they just subscribe for the giveaway. That's what's to keep me from doing one. But um, I guess since when I hit 500, I'll do one. Uh, maybe, not, not guaranteed. But I'm gonna be really thinking about. It. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. Uh, what I'm gonna be giving away. But um, really, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, please rate, slash, like, comment, subscribe. Add me as a friend. Join Plunder. I'll leave a link below, or you can send me a message, as I said, with your email. Um, share this video with other sneakerheads, or uh, well, not sneakerheads because I do a sneaker video. But any other vintage people uh, who like vintage clothing or whatever. And uh, see you guys in the next video. Peace.